Hey folks, it's Tony from The Tech Firm. I'm going to walk you through a pretty common complaint. This client's uh, got their internet upgraded to a gig and they're not happy with it. They're blaming the carrier, of course, because uh, their speed test results are always under 100 megs. So they obviously think the carrier did something wrong, yada, yada. So a little uh, tip and trick. I see a flat line there, which tells me it's not congestion. It's probably something limiting it. Um, if it was congestion, it would be all jaggedy. That could be simply the computer set for 100 meg, it's at 100 meg switch port, the router port set for 100 meg, the uh, carrier's modem is set for 100 meg, all that kind of stuff. A uh, little spoiler alert, it's none of that. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through exactly what the problem is uh, by just showing you. All right, so the, the, the download and the upload was 93 and 93, which is actually pretty consistent, right? But again, it's a flat line. It wasn't jaggedy. So l let me show you what I found. Um, this one is green. It goes to the router. This means it's gig. And that one is orange, amber, yellow, whatever color you want to give it. It's not green. <laughs> That's the point, right? It's not green. So that is obviously uh, 100 meg. That's what that means. And I'm going to inspect this cable. This is my favorite cable I've been using in a lot of my labs lately. So I just unplugged it from my computer so the light went out. And you can actually see there's a difference in the ends of the cable. So let me see if I can show you, right? So you can see right there that the cable on the left-hand side's got a, like a proper manufactured end, if you want to call it, with like a boot. And on the right-hand side, it's not. It's just a RJ45 on the end of a cable. It's kind of flimsy, to be honest with you. And to cut the story really extremely short, this cable was made by somebody, right? So they had one of these. The uh, tab busted off and he thought, oh, I got a bag of RJ45s. I'll just make a cable. And for 100 meg, yeah, it worked just fine, right? And he obviously didn't do something right. It doesn't matter what he did wrong. It really doesn't matter. The end result, this cable gave you 100 meg. Now, this cable could have also been between the switch and the router. It could have been anywhere. The point is, if you have gig everywhere, you should look at your switch port statuses. Make sure they're all gig. If they're not, please investigate them. I have found so many instances where cabling is the problem. So there you go, folks. So I just replaced that cable. I don't know how well you can see it in the picture, but now both lights are green, right? One of them was orange, yellow, amber, whatever you want to call them before. And now it's actually gig. If I actually check my NIC, it'll say gig this time. Uh, the point is we're just going to rerun the test right now because that will actually prove if it's less than 100 meg or if you got more than 100 meg. So keep in mind, just because you get gig doesn't mean you're going to actually get exactly gig on your throughput. This is dependent on the actual computer, the network, the load, the routers, all that kind of stuff. I know in this lab with this router, with this specific configuration, I'm always going to average about 500 and change. I know that, right? So again, I know my baseline. And you can see that's 575. That's 5. 30, see that? Or now 700, actually that's pretty good. Usually again, I get mid 500s. You should know what your baseline is and that way you can find out what good and bad means. So 575 and 804 up. There you go. So changing that cable fixed my problem.